Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric. I want to talk to you today. Um, it's about November 2019, about, um, for my SEO guy, it's going to be about uh, how do I switch a floodlight that's on the side of my house on another level without running switch legs. So here's an example. Outdoor porch, two switches right here. One does that light. One controls all the way up. that floodlight switch light comes all the way down two levels living room sunroom kitchen is in there bedroom master bed no switch up there for this basically there are wireless switch devices that you can install that will allow you the ability to switch them depending on what type of bulb and what type of product there's a lot of them out there uh, Z-Wave Control 4, um, Z-Wave has a couple different brands like GE versus, um, oh, I forgot the other name of it. We just put it in the other day, I apologize. And then there's some other brands from Lutron to, um, uh, I think it's, uh, I want to say Sylvania, but it, it may not be that. But anyways, there's different lighting switch switches that allow that. But you're looking for a lighting switch device that will allow wirelessly to communicate through the house up to a certain amount of feet to act as a slave and a master. So that way that can work. An example, there's also another area that has that issue that they decided to convert the walkway into garage. It's that light right there, which you think there would be a switch inside this wall but there's not, it's actually in the other side in the garage on a wall because they converted that room too. So you could do both of those. Uh, you could get them to be dimming, but you don't need to dim outside. Maybe you do for your neighbor, just get the right dimmable bulbs. But that way you don't have to run switch legs to actually destroy your drywall. Uh, we do that stuff all the time, especially if there's a, uh, a landing on a stairway or tri-level landing going down and they never put them in back in the 70s, 60s, even back in 1910, I've seen that. We can three-way, four-way or five-way. In a room like this, for example, that was remodeled years ago, there's not a lot of switches here. They're along this wall right over here. So that then controls when you walk in, can lights and lights. But as you walk in over here, there's nothing. There's some switches going upstairs, but nothing here. So we can put in a wireless system as well there. It'll communicate to those lights, to these lights, to those lights. And so basically we could create also another one over there as you walk in here. And that would be what we would call a four-way from three locations. So, Again, guys, making your life a little bit more convenient and easy. The last thing you can also do is once you put those switches in, learn them to the same slave type of switch to a Pico device. Then as you drive in and come home, you have that light, those lights, and these lights. And that switch over there, by the way, was for that walkway I was telling you about right where my finger's at. They must have remodeled and made an entry they didn't put the switch on the other side. But we can use it with a Pico device on our van, like I do for my house. And that wireless switch is right there. I hit that button on and off. And I turn on seven different switches in different locations of my house. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Have a good one.